Hello everybody, it's Woody from Garden Goods Direct. I wanted to talk to you this week about some boxwoods. Uh, boxwoods are making a comeback because they're, they're just, they serve every purpose in the garden. Um, I picked out four that everyone's hearing about boxwood blight right now, and I picked out four that are known to be very resistant to boxwood blight. Um, so over here, um, this tall guy is um, boxwood wintergreen gets about four to six feet tall and four to six feet wide um, it, it you know holds its green color all winter and that's the key that's the reason I picked these four is some boxwoods in the winter time will turn a brown almost bronzy color I picked out four here that hold their green color all year so so we have again we have um, winter green this is called um, winter gem uh, very close the reason I like winter gem is it, it almost has like an orange color to it um, on the stems, so I really like that. So it also gets about four to six feet tall. Then its little brother over here is called baby gem. Um, it tops out at about four feet, and again, you can trim these into any different shape that you want. I've seen people, you know, we have a topiary garden here near us, and I go there and I see what they're doing. Dog shapes, dragons, you, you name it, it can be trimmed into it. And this little guy right here is called Golden Dream. Um, it's a variegated boxwood. Only gets about two feet tall, two feet wide. It's just a good little guy and it adds a little bit of color to the garden. So boxwoods are perfect for hedges. And one of the reasons why is they will typically only put on new growth once a year. So if you wait until they, after they flush out new growth in the spring and you do your trimming, uh, you won't have to go back and trim them again. They'll just stay nice and manicured looking. Um, boxwoods are very deer resistant, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, for a privacy hedge around a small garden or your sitting area, these are great. Um, one, I wanted to let everyone know a little secret about boxwoods. Everyone thinks that holly tone is a great way to feed boxwoods, that nothing could be further from the truth. Boxwoods don't really like acid. And holly tone, of course, you know, has acid in it. Um, hollies require that. So plant tone is what's recommended to feed boxwoods. It's just, you know, it's, it, it's, it's so easy to use. It's organic. It, it really does great things for them. Feed them in the spring as they're flushing new growth. Uh, you can feed them again in late summer um, just to kind of help them stay green. Um, but again, they won't grow, so don't expect any growth. Four to six feet is where they typically top out at, but you know they can be trimmed to three feet and kept at three feet. So boxwoods are just great in the garden, and I can't say enough good stuff about them. These are four newer varieties. Um, you know we're happy to have them, and we're happy to ship them. So you know we'll look forward to sending you some. Until next time, see you in the garden.